Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my WMB rankings. So, the season is over. Oh, my God. What a season. It was crazy. I can't believe the season is over. Well, well it came so fast. That's the thing about WMB season. It doesn't last long. Like, blink and it's gone. Was it not when this I was not May, started in May, and now we are done. 32 games, short and sweet and exciting. Um, anyway, it was a good season. I really uh I don't even know, honestly. Honestly. I don't know. I don't know. It was uh something. Let's just say that. I don't know, because like you know, just Came out of left field. I think the ending came out of left left field, and it just left me with a lot of thoughts. Like, what's the point of having a whole season and doing so well, and all of a sudden you didn't make it to the finals? Or and was there was so what's the point of having a bad season, and then you won the championship? It's just crazy the way it ran out. It went it went down. But um, uh, and I think the it just as epitomizes sports like anything can happen in sports and that's that's really why i love sports so much it's ridiculously unpredictable you can predict like like the weather sometimes you can predict like finances so many things are predictable but one thing that you really can predict honestly is sports well, at the beginning of the season of course everybody was like oh aces was going to win this is their year this is their year and uh, Phoenix said, um, eh, hold my beer and kick them out of the playoffs. So it was crazy. Um, anyway, I, I enjoyed it. I didn't watch all the games, but I, I watched most of it. Uh, the ones that I liked, obviously. And um, yeah, so let, let's just do a, a bit of a recap for these playoffs uh, that came and went with uh, Chicago getting the championship. So I'll start from round one. So round one was pretty much what it was supposed to be. Phoenix and New York Liberty, Chicago and Dallas. Phoenix almost got eliminated by New York. I think they won by just one. I mean, those guys, they had like nine lives. Nine lives. They had basically nine lives, the way I saw that. Because look at it. Hold on. Yeah. They won by just one. How crazy is that? One, and they made it to the finals. That's, that's like on, as in, you never you never see these things coming. It was crazy. Uh, I think I don't think for us that Diana played, though. I don't think Diana played. Yeah, she didn't play, so that makes sense. I can understand that. Um, so, yeah, so they won by just one. It was just a back and forth game. I, was, I did not expect them to win by just one. I expected them to win by quite a, num a, a a large margin, but it wasn't meant to be. So anyway, but it, don't, it didn't really matter. Like I said, bad season, good season, as long as you did, they did, they, they, uh, personally, I don't know, will I call it luck? I don't know. They should have got there one way or another. And that's what is important. So for Chicago and Sky, it kind of went the way we thought, and they blew um, Sky out. Although the wings, sorry, wings and Sky, the wings, uh, they gave them a pipe in the first quarter, maybe second, but yeah, they, were, they, they didn't have any match for, for, for Chicago. Then the second round was um, Lynx and Sky. Yeah, I expected that to be a lot more competitive than it than it than 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 what happened. But it looks like the Sky were, like someone said, they were picking at the right time. They knew what they had. They knew what they wanted. Courtney Van der Sloot was locked in she did not i think she had like 15 assist no 18 i think that's when she had 18. i think that's when she had 18 assist or was it 16. no okay no no this is not the one she had that was game one of the finals anyway either way she was she was locked in the way they have, they have a very good offensive um uh they have a very very good offensive playoffs it was crazy the kalia copa was Everybody was like, the links just didn't have any answer really down the stretch. And, and that was it. Then some of Mercury, this one, oh, I won't lie. They won by fives on OT. They gave you their best shots. I, I like Seattle. They they came to play. 
they came to play. Uh, but unfortunately, it just wasn't good enough because, uh, of course, Brian and Stewart chose the longest time to fall ill. And um, to a lot that they really cold. It wasn't cold. He had 15 points, but it wasn't as efficient as would have expected. I mean, Suvela 16 points. Even Katie Lou had 18. I mean, everybody brought it, but not, I think, you didn't bring it enough. I think they should have gotten more rebounds. I think rebounds would have really helped them. While Mercury, not like Mercury was anything great either. But you could see that the guards really came to play. I know just a, 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 a just a matchup situation. They've met us twice. We was bound to a bound to on that figures out a little bit. And yeah, so that was some it, really, it was painful our own life. I really wanted some to at least get to the semifinals, at least, even though I think they will have beaten the sun. I don't think the sun, like I said, those some people are chokers. They choke unnecessarily. So I did not expect the the sun and um, those. I didn't expect um yeah. So Mercury, well, they they got by and they made it. Then it got interesting. So this one was like, eh, first round. Then Seattle was handicapped. I think I think Link didn't have one or two players. So it was kind of uh, the Damari Dantas, you know, things like that. So they went bad. It's fine. Um, I'm okay with that. I am actually I made my peace with it. Storm lost. I mean. Hey, shit happens, right? So I was like, okay, let's see what um this number one seed that it was supposed to be a walk in the park. Honestly, it really was. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. How do you have a 14-game losing um, winning streak? Connecticut Stone, I'm looking at you because you were my next person I wanted to win after Seattle Storm because you guys have been on the edge of this play um, this championship situation for a very long time and you keep choking last time you choked in the finals last time you choked in 2019 you choked in the finals 2020 you choked in the semi-finals now you are choking in the semi it's ridiculous like who are you guys like figure your shit out you have the mvp you have the sixth player of the year you have the coach of the you have no excuse you have no excuse I don't know what happened, honestly. I don't know. They they gave it a they gave it a good fight, but they've always had like they have this of an offensive situation going on that nobody understands. Like their offense sometimes doesn't flow, and they defend they they depend too much on their defense. And I think once they lost that first game, it kind of just just lost momentum, and they couldn't just get it together. While Chicago had Candice Parker and Conti Pandas, these are veterans in the game. They know what it takes, and they just kind of just push their head up. Sometimes it's just mind over matter, mind over matter. It was a very good game. I mean, JJ had 26 points, 22 points. You can't, what more do you need from them, honestly, for this first game? They, they did their best. They really tried. But I just, they just didn't have it. They didn't have it. That's the thing about this team. They didn't have you have it, but you don't. They didn't have it. And, well, and you know, Chicago had it. Um, when they said it, like, they just came together at the right time. And um, yeah, and they, they they kind of lost only two games. So uh, so they had the first series, uh, second series, third series. I was like, I, I honestly thought Connecticut was going to pick up a, a fight in the game four. I really thought they were. Instead, they had six, nine points. So uh, that was uh, a bit um, embarrassing. Yeah, that was a bit embarrassing. So they, they I mean, Chicago did what they were supposed to do. Uh, I was very disappointed. I won't lie. I really expected the sun to, to, to. I mean, I, I, I thought this was their year. This was a series that they could have, if they had gotten it together, just a little bit. If they had gotten it together, they could have made it over the hump. Or they just didn't get it together. They were just all over the place, and that was sad. Aces to Aces to which were clearly some one of the best teams in the league. They had the depth, they had the players, they had the mindset, they had everything going for them. They had the former MVP in Asia, they had um this kind of beach, a very dominant center, they had um Chelsea Gray, fantastic point guard, they had Chelsea Plum who can shoot and she is also a very, very good scorer. They had um, they had a very good Lucana Williams can I mean she can light it up from three. 
I mean, they just they kind of had like a lot of things going for them. So I really thought this was their year to put it together. Honestly, I think the ACs should have swept Mercury. They should have swept Mercury. Mercury had no business. I like Mercury, and I really wanted them to win because I didn't want Chicago Sky to win because of James Wade. And I've spoken bad about him earlier in the year. I still stand by my words. I don't like him, but I do like what Ivan does do. Ali Quigley, I really don't like Candice Parker, but I give it to her respect. So I kind of didn't want Chicago to win. So I was like, okay, if anybody else was going to win, I was okay with Mercury winning. I was very okay with Mercury. No, like <laughs> Mercury, like getting winning. So I, I really was okay with them winning, but I didn't think they were going to win. It was like, okay, I, I don't want the ACs to win, obviously. But I was like, you know, it's just because you don't want, like I said, I didn't want Chicago to win, but Chicago ended up winning. So that's what I thought the ACs were going to do. Like, oh, I don't want them to win, but they clearly had the talent. They clearly wanted it badly because of last year. Like, they tasted it, and I felt they really should have brought in a lot of energy. Instead, they got blown out twice. How do you get blown out twice? In a fucking semi final against a sixth seed that wasn't even that great, a fifth seed that was not even that great. Do you get? I, I don't know what happened. They just fell apart. They fell apart. Especially that, um, especially the blowout, the 117 blowout was in this game, too. It's like, really? You guys should have, like, come on, come on, come on. I mean, nobody came to play. I mean, we're talking MVP performance. Bridget Brenner was dropping 26 on their asses. Come on. But no, this is the first one. The first one was all right. First game was all right. First game was all right. I, mean, I think this is about, it. I have no problem with people losing. Losing is part of sports. People lose. But I like, I, you have to come to, to, to fight. It's a battle. You can't come and just fall flat and then. You oh yeah, we'll get them in game two. Oh no, we'll get them in game three. No, every game is a that's what the, uh, Chicago did. Chicago they did not allow they that they came to fight every game. You could see that they, they never got blown out. Uh, they, they never got blown out ever. They they didn't they, they kept it ridiculously close every because they came to fight. These are some these are people that wanted to fight. They came to fight, not to come and get you. How do you get blown? Imagine they got blown out in that um, game two, and then they got blown out in game three. I was like, forget it. If it's forget it, um, I was like, forget it. Um, Mercury, uh, they have their number. My, in my opinion, I was like, yeah, Mercury has their number because they just didn't have it. Should have, that's why I, I, I always say, Tiago is my team, so I'm always by That's why I like Tiago. Tiago never lets. These things with the past, they will fight to the end. And if they lose, they lose, it's fine, no problem. And they really lose, they've never lost the final because they know what that you, this is not playoffs. I'm sorry, this is not a uh, regular season where oh, whatever, we'll get them next time. No, this is the playoffs. This is the playoffs. This is what you've been fighting for. Um, everybody wanted to win this championship, and this championship was aces to lose, and they lost it because. Honestly, nobody knows what. Maybe it's the Olympics because Asia didn't come. Asia didn't bring it. Especially in that blowout, she got Asia with some 12 points, fucking MVP. Ridiculous. The only person that I was, that was trying was Chelsea Gray. And honest, and maybe Chelsea Plum. Yeah, Chelsea Plum really, really gave them a kick that they, the kick that they really, really needed. But then that jersey dropped 37. That jersey that cannot defend dropped 37 on their asses. Come on, AJ Wilson should be dropping 37 on their asses. I don't know. I don't, know. It's like, I, I don't like criticizing players, but like I said, I don't play sports. Well, I play sports, but like I'm, I'm not in, I, I don't play basketball. And I, I, I mean, I'm not a pro, so I don't really know what goes on. Down in the locker room, the mental fortitude it takes to be present at these games and show up time and time. But I do know what it takes to go after something you've been dying for and know that this is the this is this is my only opportunity to get this thing. And I have to give it everything I have. I, I know that because in my life I've 
been through so, so many situations where I had only one shot and that shot was everything. And I could see the future. I knew that if I just gave it all my all for this one shot, I was going to be fine. My, I, things were just going to fall into place if I just gave it my all. This one time, one time, like maybe a job interview or, you know, different things like that. You got an exam that was going to set you up for life, you know, things like that. You just give it this one, these guys had this the one shot and they didn't make the best of it. So painful. I didn't want them to win, but I was just, I, I didn't want them to win, but I expected them to win. So like, oh, you know, there's a team you wanted to win. It's like Mercury and Chicago in the finals. I, I wanted Mercury to win, but I knew that they weren't going to win. I knew it going into the finals. I just knew Mercury just didn't have what to take. But that's another story. We get them, we get them. So that was what aces were like the Chicago Sky team. I was like, okay, yeah, Mercury, okay, you've hung, you, you beat Seattle. Yes, 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 thank you. You, you, I wasn't happy, but whatever. So I expected them. Um, so I didn't expect them to make it this far. And then um, Chicago um, aces came and they just fell flat. They fell flat. I don't know, if you couldn't win this year, when would you win? And everybody said, we'll be back, we'll be back. You won't be back, shit is hard. It's hard. You had a, ch a chance to beat Mercury that were not that coercive. Anyway, I, I can't talk too much about them. I, can't, I just can't, I'm sorry, but you guys messed up. And uh, um, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, I really sad, but what can I do? Uh, it was, I won't even talk about the individual performance. It was shit. This cambage was shit. Um, this cambage was so they blew out Mercury in game four. Why didn't you blow out Mercury in games one and two? Then games two and three. You you of course you had what it takes to blow them out. Why did you blow them out when it really, really mattered? Then you now have to force a game five. And you know that once you force a game five, game fives are crazy. The NBA is crazy. It's, it could go either way. You don't want to put yourself in that situation where you have to force a game five. Game fives are crazy. Game five, because game five, everybody wants to go home. Nobody wants to go home. Everybody is like fighting and fighting and fighting. And it could just some, like you said, it was a three, 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 three point swing. It could go anybody's way. One miss lay up there, one miss lay up there, one rebound, one Britney Griner block. And season over so that's why you never allow it to to get to a game five you you fight that that that's one thing i fight chicago for they fought in that game four they could have easily said well whatever we'll get them we'll get them like we weren't going on anyway but no they had to fight you have to fight actually uh, anyway uh i'm done um it's fine yeah so let's go so yeah so that was it so um chicago came came out on top over the sun and the disappointment aces came uh, mercury came over the um aces another disappointment but hey we got what the final we got the, the the least seed number six in the final history winning it's five and six crazy crazy but um, so I was just thinking, how did Chicago get to this point? Like, were they always good, but they just couldn't figure it out and they were just figuring it out as the season went by? Or were other teams just not like picking? Like, I think Connecticut picked at the wrong time when they were winning all those games. They kind of thought they had it figured out and people had them figured out. So it was only a matter of time before people could exploit their weaknesses. And they weren't that strong offensively. They were mostly just like a defensive team. They really didn't have shooters. So I could understand. Well, Chicago was actually a very, very strong team. And uh, they made the best of their players. Like everybody, I think it was a, like a mental thing. Everybody just lost locked in, maybe because of Courtney Vandos, but I think she was really the emotional leader. And there was Candice Parker, which we'll talk about Candice Parker later. I think they just really just had what it took. Once they, like, it was like, they just got, they, once they, they beat Connecticut Sun, it was like, <laughs> we beat the number one team in the league and nobody got anything on us. Although I do believe the Chicago and Aces, Aces will have won. I'm sorry, for Aces, if they, if they went, a stupid team, like the aces that we knew coming into the season and the aces that played some games, I believe they would have won. Uh, they would have won 
um, if a Chicago AC is played, but that didn't happen thanks to the Mercury, pesky Mercurians. All right, so um, so yeah, yeah. So out of the lot, once they beat Connecticut Sunshine, it was like we beat the number one team in the league. Like, come on, Mercury, who is Mercury? I mean, Diana Chorosi wasn't. I mean, she was on her last. She was she was injured. Between Griner was kind of like their only offense. Skylar was good, but you could tell they weren't. They weren't a team. They were not they were to get I watched the game, they were to get there was something apart from the, the game five, which I like I said, AC had no business losing. That was when I, I saw them really come together as a team. Other than that, um I, I don't know, I just didn't see it. I, I, I knew I knew they weren't going to win. I, I think I thought they were going to get swept, but they didn't get swept. So that was nice. I felt that OT it was it was a battle. I wish they had brought that energy into game three. Because I mean, they got blown out. Like, how do you allow? How do you allow yourself get blown out in the finals? Okay, ACs allow themselves get blown out. Yeah, but I mean, oh, honestly, this was for me. This was one of the it was interesting, but it wasn't interesting because I just I wasn't emotionally invested in it because I didn't have any things I liked there. I wanted it to be a sun ACs and sun winning. That that was my ideal. Uh, championship team, and if if that wasn't it, of course I wanted Seattle. I wanted the Seattle Connecticut, and I knew they were going to win. Uh, Connecticut, Seattle were going to win a Connecticut um, a game, no doubt about that. But only Brian and Stewart decided to, to to not be feeling fine. I can understand that you win some, you lose some. So my second best was Sun. I wanted it to be a Sun Aces with the Sun winning. I think the Sun could take the Aces, but I doubt it though. Aces might have won that because the song that we saw, I, I was impressed. Although they did fight, that's the problem. You could see that they fought. Oh, they just weren't they just weren't the offensive team they thought they were. And I don't know why how they won 14 games in the regular season and they, they could barely scrape by in the semifinals. But um, that's another story. Yeah, so the sky won. That was fun. Like I said, this was one of the yeah, I wasn't just interested in it. I did watch the games, but I just wasn't emotionally invested. The only player I liked in the sky was Courtney Van der Sloot, because I just like her, because I like point guard. And I really like I like I really like that. Ali Quigley, I love Ali Quigley. I really came to play, especially in that final stretch. That's when you have players that really step up and really make things happen. So I think she shot like five threes. It was crazy. So she did well. Then let's talk on this park up a bit. Can this park up? You know when people when she came, they said, "Oh, she, and Soccer was going to be the, the 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 player to get this team over the ump and you know things like that." And everybody was like, "Yeah, can Soccer was definitely." You said, "Oh, like oh yeah, can Soccer was definitely going to be the one to get them over the edge, you know, and and things like that." And next thing, uh, during this regular season, everybody was like, eh, maybe not. And so not playing to her full potential. She's pleased. Even me, I think I was part of the people that were like, eh, Chicago 16 16, come on, you guys can do better than that. You guys are better than that. You know, you guys have some good talent. But Tobano is still fantastic when you are great shooter. You have a liquid lights out from three. You have Stephanie Dawson, crazy. Um, not she's not that great, but I mean, she's in the team dynamic. She's a very good post player. The you can spark her that can, of course, multi-dimensional. So she had, they had what it took to, 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 to make it happen. Then they have Kalia Cooper, which was another, she was, like, yeah, she was actually, actually like that also. And I'm glad she won the championship. So they had the team there, but then, but they didn't, like you said, they didn't get it together. And they got it together I think it was when they beat Lynx. That's when they were like, you know what, we can actually do this thing. And then they they stuck it out and they beat the sun. And it was like, yeah, Mercury was Mercury. We can definitely beat the Mercury. So they they did it. Can Spaka, I give it to her. She came, they then James Wade persuaded her to come to Chicago to bring to take them over the edge. And she did exactly just that. You can't fault her for that. I like people that put their money where their mouth is. I came here to win a championship. I am winning a championship. I am a, I am one of the greatest of all times. I give it to her. I'm a fan, but I give it to her. Give it to her. Give her flowers. She, she did what she was supposed to do. She took Sky to the next level. Sky has been they've just been all over the place. But I guess they were they just needed 
another threat on the, on the court that um that is she was she's kind of like a brand still a little brand still is better kind of like a brand still kind of player where she draws a lot of attention and because of that other players can do it and I think that's really where she she came she's like a brand still Diana Taurasi kind of players where I think Chicago needed that they needed that 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 threat even though she's not scoring but her presence or on the court just makes a, a difference and then when other players now decide to turn it on then they're, they're like firing for most windows i think diana torres's problem was that she chose a she didn't have a bad game but she didn't have a great game she chose a, a, that game not to she kept missing and missing i think she was too i think the problem with diana torres especially they, they, for that game they could have won that game but i think the problem with diana torres the one they shouldn't have gotten blown out in game three but one so i kind of won't start up when you that you guys like they're going to get it then the number two was that the accuracy was she was too erratic and you could see she was just shooting three she wasn't coming down i, I don't know i think it was it was a coaching problem there was just something about that game where it was they were fast they were too fast i think they should have just really really slowed down and do not match i felt that when Ali Quigley was shooting threes, they should have calmed down. They really should have because, and really, really played defense. If not, I think, but they were, the, the, the threes happened too fast. They were like back to back, back to back, back to back. They should have slowed down the clock, slowed it down, like almost even to the last, so that they would have, because they had the time on their, they had the points on their side. I think they were just too fast. That didn't, you know, I'm sorry, but she's not the best point guard. She's a good, shooting guard. I don't think she's a point guard. She's not a point guard. And that was the um and that was the one made Mercury. The passes were in that great. The angles were not great. They she did they didn't exploit like Bridget Garner was definitely the only person that could nobody had an answer for her. and they didn't exploit that down the stretch. They didn't put her in, in position where she could succeed. So I think Skylar Diggins, while Skylar is a very good player, she can't do, she's like Joel Lloyd. She's a Joel Lloyd player. Joel Lloyd. So just think of her as Joel Lloyd. Joel Lloyd can't do point guard. She can't. If you tell Joel Lloyd to do point guard, that team is going to fail. Epic proportions. Epic. Epic proportions. People really underestimate point guards. People underestimate point guards. I don't know why they do that, but they do. Tyler is not a point guard. People should stop taking her as sort. And she should stop taking her as sort. I don't know maybe point guard positions are like highly sought after. You are the captain or whatever. I don't really care. But my point is, if you're not a point guard, you're not a point guard. You don't have what it takes. You're a good player, of course. But you're not a point guard. You don't, you, you just don't see the, the like, see the way Conti Banders would took saw that game. She saw it from a, an holistic point of view. See the way Subert sees games. She sees it from a, Chelsea Bray. Chelsea gets sees these games from another level. Once Skylar would just, oh, just throw, throw, throw things. She makes some very stupid decisions down the thread. She's just no point that. I think if Mercury really, really wants to make, I think they can. I think they should move Skylar to shooting guard and get a point guard. A true, although point guards in this league are few and far between. Few and far between. Like I can count them with my fingers. Um, Subert, clearly. Chelsea Bray. Courtney Van der Sloot. Jordan Canada, although I don't trust her. No, I remember Jordan Canada. I don't trust her. She can't shoot. Um, she's a good point guard, but she's going to be a liability to anything. Kelsey Plum, even Kelsey Plum is more of a shooting guard, but she has potential to be a point guard. She has it. I can see she has it. Although she's, if she can just learn to just respect the ball a little bit and stop shooting unnecessarily, she definitely has the potential to be a point guard. She has this potential to be like a superb kind of point guard. So, yeah, so let's put that Kelsey Plum. Natasha Cloud, fantastic point guard. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, then you have the second rate Odessi Sims. I know that it's not that great. Uh, you have Odessi Sims. You have 
um, uh, Bob Tyari, um, Mariah Jess, those are second grade. I mean, top class point guards. You have those, those are second grade point guards. But I mean, they could be top class. I mean, they could be, I mean for you to come to anchor in championship team, you need a lot of experience. So just those five, okay, then Jasmine Thomas from, um, from the sun. She's also good, but she can't shoot as good as others, but she, she can't, she's all right. So six, just six in the whole league, six really, really true, experienced, seasoned point guard. Kala Biggins is not one of them. I'm sorry, she's not a point guard. So if Mercury really wants to take it over the edge, they need a point guard. And um, yeah, and that's, um, so, and that's my take for them. And uh, congrats to the, the sky, the, the, the crazy story, crazy story. And I'm very happy that the one like for them, but not for me. Like I didn't want to win, but I'm happy for them. And I can imagine the boy and something that needs to last all year. It's a very big eye. So congrats to them. And then yeah, so that's my recap. I don't really have much to say. I will do another video about about like just the whole season in general, the WNBA Twitter. I really want to get into all that drama, but if I want to, I, I will get into it at some point, but it's getting something like the fandom is getting very toxic. Everybody's just trying to just prop up their own player while bringing down others. I mean, just, it's crazy. Like support your, you people, and support your, talk about, like now you see me, I don't bring down other people. I, only, I like Subert, I like Deloitte, I like Bernard See what which person do I like? I like Auntie Van I like, like I, I mean, barely five. I, but you don't see me talking down on other players detrimentally. Like, oh, see this um, player. She's not this. She's not that. She's not that. I hope she retires. I hope she this. I mean, who's your business? Focus on your the people you like. Stop um, talking nonsense about other people. Especially the popular ones in quotes. You talking bad about them is not going to make them less popular. It's probably going to make them even more popular because people will be like, okay, why is you giving them spotlight? So shut the fuck up and talk about the people that you like. Simple. And some talking snide talks and just bring any little mistake they do, you up on it unnecessarily, derogatory words, wishing them bad. You know, nonsense like that. Come on. I mean, you guys are professionals here. It's probably those, um, anyway, let me know. I don't want to get into that. It was a great season. I really enjoyed the season. I think it's my first season. Okay, no, the bubble was my first season that I, I, I watched it back to back. So, but this season was, it made me now rethink everything. Like, what's the point? Like, you have this regular season and you are doing so well. And then all of a sudden you get bounced in severe elimination. What's the point? Like, what's the point? Just, it's just crazy. Like what's the point of of stressing so I guess it's the game. It's the game. It's just like I mean, if a six seed can come and win the championship, then anybody can win the championship. Honestly, even Indiana Fever. Last year I got. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I'm stopping now. Thanks for coming to my talk. And um, yeah, have a good day.